So Albert, let me be very sincere with you. I have come to the firm conclusion that this country is in big trouble. We have a leader who doesn't listen, who has become so obstinate, so intransigent, so stony-hearted. He is impervious to good counsel. When you go through the latest report, which is the 2022 list of staffers at the presidency in compliance with the Presidential Office Act, it is totally incredible that at this time of the worst economic crisis in living memory, at a time that haircuts are taking place, financial haircuts, the first time in our history we are going through a debt restructuring program, the first time in our history that we have not been able to pay our loans, we have defaulted in the payment of our loan obligations. The first time that we as a country have been downgraded by all the credit rating agencies from Fitch to Standard & Poor's to Moody's, at a time that everybody, civil society, the political parties, even for the first time, diplomats have entered the arena. And for good reason. They are saying, you have come to us for debt restructuring, for debt forgiveness. We expect you to lead by example, be responsible, and reduce the size of your government. As the German ambassador told the president recently, in the midst of all of this, I think who would have imagined that President Akufuado will increase the numbers at the presidency? The president, from the analysis we have done, has added 24 more to his already obese political appointees. He had 337. When you look at the 2021 report parliament received, now the president has 361. He has added 24 more. Then you look at the list of the other category of workers, the civil and public servants. That has also gone up from 658 in 2021 to 687. So for the first time in this country's history, we have hit and actually crossed the 1,000 mark. 